Hey, see me here. So today I'm going to be starting my first attempt at a reading vlog. Right now it is January 31st. It is 5.26. I've been having a lot of difficulty with video editing softwares and I did download one but it was just a complete waste of time. Right now I have one on my computer so I'm gonna try and work out the kinks to see how I can manage it that with so I can manage with that one because when I have difficulties is with the trim it's just really really horrible to manage and if I trim like in between a video then I lose the other um, segment of that video so what I'm gonna do is that I'm going to um, just record little chunks and then that's how I'm going to eventually like upload it onto my computer and then edit and yes the neighbors are loud I apologize but it's like when I sat down to decide to film they started screaming so I was like oh this is just peachy but anyways I I don't know I just wanted to have how are you are you doing good I'm fine um, a lot of things have been happening in my life um, I'm trying to be positive for 2019 I'm trying not to listen to a lot of things and or just forget about certain things um, but I have been procrastinating way too much um, for this month and I need to stop like I really need to stop and when I would um, film um, reading vlogs it would be different because it would actually like, give me incentive for me to continue um, reading and for me to give a little bit of an update and then I just I just stopped doing that because obviously of the situation that I had um, but I'm gonna try I'm gonna attempt hopefully everything goes good um, I did start at the beginning of the year but unfortunately because I ran into some kinks with that editing software I was just annoyed and infuriated and I just decided to stop but I wanted to tell you what is it that I'm currently reading and hopefully I, I want in an ideal world I would love to finish these two books by today but in the real world that's not gonna happen but the ones that i'm currently reading is city of heavenly fire this is a reread for me and i am on page 500 um i've been with this one for quite a while i've been completely procrastinating because i think i started this one like around the second week of january if i'm not mistaken and i've just been extending it that long but you know <laughs> hopefully i plan to at least finish that one today so or I, should I say tonight? But we'll see how that goes. And the other one that I'm reading is Sight Witch, which is by Susan Dennard. I currently have already finished Truth Witch, which I fangirl to the highest potential. And Win Witch, which I completely hired to the maximum potential. Like, oh my god, I loved my reread of Win Witch. Um, it was just such a fangirling moment. Um, I loved characters a lot more on my reread and... I felt so much for Isolt. I love Isolt so, so much. She's a character that I will ride or die with. I just freaking adore her so much. And everything that she goes through and you get to feel her pain, her grief, her sorrow. And it was just like, oh man, I feel so much for you, girl. I wish I could just hold you because that's all you need right now. And I I just simply adored it. Edwin is one of my characters that Edwin has won my heart in so many lovable and amazing ways he, you know he's you know he's that bad guy you know bad guy with a good heart and the things that he has done i've just i just i'm just i'm just fangirling like let's be real that's that's how i am and he, merrick did annoy me a bit in this one um i ended up loving and adoring vivia on this one like so much i was like wh what the hell has happened to me that i didn't um experience this the same way in the first read in my first read of win witch but on my second i was just like i was even rereading certain chapters over and over again because i just wanted i just want these two characters to be together that's you know that's what i'm going to be content with that's what i'm going to strive for and you know i i, I honestly would just you know a little pecker just you know a little, a little tap that's that's all i want and i swear i will scream i i did manage to wake up my kids my dogs a few times because i was just you know i was i was screaming um with joy unfortunately it was out loud but it was just ah uh, I can't wait. I think one of the many reasons that I have been procrastinating a lot with these two books that I have right now, it's because I'm ready for Blood Witch. I am completely and utterly ready. I've been waiting for such a long time. The problem is, it's that it comes out on February 12th. So I am not blessed to have an arc. I've been entering giveaways to try and win an arc, but unfortunately I I think I'm like the ocean. I'm really salty. Like I, I have 
I had no ways, obviously. Um, I never won any of the giveaways, which does sadden me so, so much. But right now I am on page um, 73 of Sight Witch. And what I love about this is that we're getting a lot more um, information, especially about um, Sight Witch. There were things that I did not know about this kind of... Um, these kind of powers and how a site which is you know is created I was just like really really um, Entertained with this book. There's so much information that is just really really good to delve into and I'm really glad that you know I decided to read this one because even though she says that you know You should read it for, for you to have an immersive um, Knowledge of all the worlds and everything that's happening. I just, um, I'm, I'm enjoying that we're having other information, especially about things that have been mentioned throughout um, Truth Witch and Wind Witch, um, especially with the Iridis, I think that's how you pronounce it, the Iridis Lament. We have um, information here and other information that's just expanding on the world. So I'm really quite content that I managed to pick this one up. And there are a lot of questions. There are a lot of questions that I'm asking myself throughout Sight Witch. And I, I'm like, oh my god, this better get answered because like there are a lot of things that are interesting like right here I have a, a post-it of how many questions just arose from this passage only because it's diary entry format and I'm really enjoying everything that I have read so far so I can't wait to actually like sit down and continue with this one I don't know if I'm going to manage to read this one today because I am currently hearing the audiobook for City of Heavenly Fire and I really don't want to finish that reread because I do want to dive into um, the dark artifices because I just, I need to. Um, I don't know if I'm going to start, um, like, there's, like, in-between novellas, um, between, um, if I'm not mistaken, it's, like, coming up to or leading up to, um, Lady Midnight. I don't have an e-reader right now because my Kindle died on me, so I don't know if I should read those, if it's pertinent for me to actually read them. I'm not. I'm just gonna dive into, um, Lady Midnight and see how I feel about it. I... I just also are you excited for chain of gold because I'm fangirling over here because like I need more Will Herondale in my life like from Cassandra Clare the infernal devices is one of my favorite trilogy of all time that series destroyed me it was a bittersweet ending it was just such amazing characters to experience characters to fall in love with characters to root for and just such precious characters also that you, should, you just wanted to take out of the page of a book and just, you know, hold them or just hide them so nothing bad would actually happen to these characters and I'm just, I'm excited. I'm excited just because we're gonna have more of a Victorian-esque um, atmosphere which is something that I do love to read about and also, like, come on, who doesn't need more Will Herondale in their life? I'm pretty sure a lot of you don't even care about Will Her Herondale but I just... <sighs> He's like the ideal book boyfriend. I'm just, yeah, I'm excited for that. Um, yeah, so I don't think there's any more that I can't update you with. I'm going to read. Hopefully, I get a lot more reading done. So I will update you throughout the day. And let's hope that I can eventually upload this, you know, reading vlog. And I can start doing reading vlogs again. Because I actually really do miss doing them. And... I just, I don't know, I, I just want to have someone to talk to about books, even though it was to me, but you know what, that's just, just all I have to say. I'm, 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 I'm rambling right now, so I'm just going to end this vlog right now, and yeah, I'll update you later. Okay, so one of the things that I forgot to mention was I received my fake crate for the month of January and the theme was Reluctant Heroes. I am right now humbly blessed that I can say that I represent fake crates on Bookstagram. So at the end of everything that I show you, I'm going to be giving you the my discount code just in case you're interested in checking this box out because this is one of the boxes where I always really, really wanted to support them because I think that they're just such amazing girls and also I love that they have um, recovery kits and recovery kits are based on specific series that they're going to include. They always include like the second book on but they have um, three dip different options and they have different names for each one of them. Right now I can't recall them but I will leave everything linked down below. But this one includes the book and the bookish goodies. You also have one that includes only the shirt because they do have monthly shirts. And there's another one which it includes the book, the bookish goodies and also um, 
the shirt. So it's a combo that you can choose from either one of them. And what I love about them, like I was saying, is that they include recovery kits. And I've been blessed that I've been able to purchase two other previous recovery kits. One of them was for A Reaper at the Gates, and the other one was recently for Queen of Air and Darkness. And the one that I'm really, really anticipating is the one for Blood Witch. So if you're a fan of, you know, Susan Dennard and the Witchland series, I highly suggest for you to go and purchase their boxes. Right now, there were 15 left as of this morning that I checked. So highly suggest for you to go and pick them up because you're going to, obviously, aside from the book, um, you're going to also receive that pre-order incentive that they had about the um, the pins. So Tortine said that they can include them in the box. They also have an amazing, amazing art piece that was designed by their main artist, which is Gabriela Bujoso. And I hope I pronounce her name right now, her, her name right. And it's this one. I hope you can see it. This print is freaking stunning. I am just at all with it when I saw it because I saw it like in black and white. And then... She showed it completely um, fully colored and I was just like, I I, I already had pre-ordered the box because I pre-ordered like the second day because I was just like, what if what if they end? I, I can't like not, not have that box, you know, in my life. And then when they started rereading like little hints, this, uh, this right now says that it's going to be included in a big item. Right now, we don't know what it is. I'm hoping for a tapestry because I need a tapestry from Blood Witch in my life because this is the adorable and gorgeous Edwin. Here we have Merrick. Here we have um, Sophia, and then we have Assault, and then we have the Witchland marks on the outer, like I don't know what arc that they have right there. Here we have the sea foxes. That's a scene from the story, and there has the ship. I'm just, I'm in love. I'm in love. Honestly, I can't like express how much I can't wait to receive this box because I'm just really really excited And also like right now what they revealed from the box is that they revealed obviously the book um, The pre-order incentive it's gonna be a scarf which has or you know the print of the sea foxes Which is inspired by the sea foxes and also that print that they've shown and also they say that they're gonna be a lot more goodies included um, I don't know anything even though I'm part of the rep because they don't tell us everything they do give us hints every now and then but I don't know, I'm just, you know, clueless as to everybody else as to what's going to be included in the box, but I'm just really, really excited. I can't wait. My discount code does not work on their recovery kits, but it does work on their monthly subscriptions. So, you know, I highly suggest you definitely check them out because the cool thing that they do about the recovery kits also is that aside from them, it's, it is a little bit more pricier, but you get a lot more um, items and, you know, items that are really, really high quality and, you know, a little bit bigger items that you would in their regular box. And also is that they give to a specific charity and or foundation, which I think that that's amazing. And this one is in collaboration with Susan Denner. So she has approved everything from the box. And also she was the one who approved the charity for um, that box, which I think is something really amazing that they give back to the community It's always nice to you know Not only be a part of this wonderful and amazing community that is the bookstagram community because that's the one that I'm always like You know really influenced by but also like to give back to your community is always something that's always Really important and really special that not only are you receiving but you're also able to give back and I think that that's just It speaks levels of the company, which is why I always support them. So yeah, I'm just gonna show you the items that were included in the January box. Again, the theme was fan. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, those are the neighbors. Um, the theme again, I sorry, I was about to say the March theme, but the January theme is Reluctant Heroes. So this is a mug that came. This is a campfire mug. It is a huge mug and I'm really excited that it did not break because like shipping it here to Puerto Rico, I was expecting for it to be in a million pieces because some people did receive theirs um, shattered, but obviously they're going to deal with that situation. But the quote is a part of the book and I'm going to tell you, you know, which is the book in a few minutes. It says, evil to fight, coffee to pour. And if you're a fan of Buffy the Vampire Slayer, then it has two skulls and it has the steak or Mr. Pointy coming out of one of the eye sockets. So it does have on both sides the print. It has like little dots on it, like little white dots, little white specks on it. And I just think it's amazing. I don't know if I'm going to use it because I have slippery fingers and I don't want it to end up on the floor, but we never know because that is a huge mug and I can't wait. The next one is the Patronus candle. This is a sorting candle, so if you burn it, it'll tell you which house you belong in. And it smells of blackberry, pine, and citrus, and this is by Spidey Scents. I do own a, um, a candle from them, and I think that their scents are really, really good. 
and I oh, like you can smell all those three scents that are permanent but I think the ones that you can like really see um smell the hints of are blackberry and pine even though I feel the citrus there but it isn't something that's overpowering so yeah I'm I don't know if I'm gonna burn it but it smells so good that I think I might because you never know if I might because I tend to not burn my candles um some I don't burn others I do but like I have to admit that like spidey scents um flick the wick um wick and fable written in wax smells really good um and happy piranha those are the ones that i really really um have purchased from them and candles that i genuinely love and then the other item that was included is this little pouch it does have the um artwork from the um spoiler card and this is zili and this is amari from children of blood and bone i love both of them but amari she's my girl i will defend her until the end then we got this little adorable pin from the falconer series and what i love about them is that they really do um strive to include different fandoms within the boxes one of the many reasons why i don't purchase many boxes is because you usually always see the same fandoms like and i get it these are fandoms that are very very popular but you know it gets a bit exhausting when you have like the same fandoms over and over again and like we always see like throne of glass or akatar or harry potter or you know even though i don't mind seeing six of crows and a dark shade of magic and whatnot but i'm noticing that we're that they have been including a lot more a darker shade of magic because i don't think there's that many boxes who have been included in a darker shade of magic and even though i'm okay with that series um i just think that it's amazing that they include fandoms that you normally really wouldn't hear of so that's one of the also reasons why i do love to support um their boxes they also have this like kind of tapestry slash like little poster because it has a little um strong feel to it and it says the hardest thing in this world is to live in it be brave and i just love the artwork and the design i think it's really pretty i don't know where i'm going to place it but i know i'm going to place it somewhere because I don't know, but I'm going to look for it. Another thing that I do love about them that they include is that they include, they're starting to include like these sort of Polaroid kind of pictures about certain fandoms. And this is one that they included in the month of January. And they said, and this is Elia and Elias from An Ember in the Ashes series. And I think that the artwork is just stunning. And I just love these little details because I always love um, fan art from characters, especially characters that I really, really started off loving. And I really started out loving Laya right now. I can't like generally say the same thing because there are a few things annoying me, but I just love the details and it's just so, so pretty. It says on the bottom, I will find away i think that just just that alone has me like yeah i need that box in my life and then we have this little bookmark it is double-sided um it has like little images on the back i haven't read this book but this is inspired by um what was it um something about Okay, I forgot the, oh, the name of the wind. That's the one it's inspired, inspired by. And it says, all the truth in the world is held in stories. So that's what it looks like. I have not read that series. I, uh, like, like that, not series, but that book. I would like to read it, but it's so intimidating that sometimes when I look at it, I'm like, I don't own it. One of my friends owns it, but I was just like, I don't know, maybe in the near future, but I don't know. Then we have this adorable, I like I said, I love artwork. This is an artwork from the book also. I don't know if we have Buffy and like the main character from um, the book, but on the back we have the author letter. There's also this print that says, a monster does not deserve the intimacy of a name. It's, it, and it's even spot, even, even for, even for. This is the ebook because they also include, aside from including the book, they also include an ebook in every um, box. So I think that's something that's really interesting. This is how um, the cover looks. And it sounds interesting. So I can't wait to actually like download it so I can actually read it. I don't know if I'm going to eventually have to download it on my phone because I don't have anything else. And then we have the book plate from the author. This was the spoiler card. It mentions everything and also like the... Um, recovery kits that they have right now right now they have the blood witch they also have the defy me recovery kit and what i love about them is that they also include um what you call them they include plushies so for blood witch the plushie is going to be erwin and for the defy me the plushie is going to be warner and then it has the photo challenges for 
the month of February based on the box in January. And the book is one that I'm really, really excited about. It's one of my anticipated releases for the month of January, and that is Slayer by Kirsten White. Funny because I'm not a fan of Endai Darkin. I do want to continue that series. Like, I recently saw an interview with her that um, Witty Novels posted in one of her vlogs, and Chris, Kir Kirsten White can't pronounce her name. Kirsten White seems like such a humble and sweet and loving author and I was just like oh my god I feel bad for not loving her books. So you know that alone may gave me incentive to actually like re-pick up um and I darken but this one Slayer is one that I ever since I heard about it when people were receiving arcs I was just like I want that book in my life. This is set in the ba Buffy the Vampire world um so I can't I definitely can't wait to actually like, read this one. Okay, so I just noticed that my camera stopped recording and I was really enthusiastically telling you the synopsis of the story, especially what's on the back, which is the opening scene of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. But I put everything away and I just noticed that the camera turned off, so I'm not going to take anything out. But what I was going to say, that was the last thing that was included. But if you liked everything that was included in the January box for um, this company, then I highly suggest for you to pick them up. You can use Tales 5 to save on your next purchase. Right now, the February box is sold out, but their March box does go on sale on February 1st, so this video will be up by the time, um, that box does go on sale. But, like I said, use Tales 5. Their, um, March theme is going to be fandom favorites. It is their one-year anniversary, so the book is going to be a special edition. They've also given reveals for the shirt that they're going to include. They're also going to be including a snow globe and other little things that are really interesting. So I highly suggest for you to check them out and that's it. I'm going to get to reading because I really, really need to read. So I will update you later on throughout the day or throughout the night. Bye! Okay, so right now it is 10.26 and I just finished City of Heavenly Fire and it was good. Like, I don't think I'm as impacted as the first time that I um, read it on um, my reread. I, f I remember a lot of things that I've forgotten and I also didn't remember that there are two specific characters that i really really adore that are going to the london in not the london institute but the los angeles institute so i can't wait to actually like really pick up the dark artifices now so yeah it was okay um i'd say like probably like a four out of five stars on this reread um it was okay but i'm tired i wanted to read a little bit of sight which but I'm tired. Um, I have to get to work tomorrow, so I'm just going to call it quits now. And at least I finished that book that I wanted to by the end of January. I wish I had finished Sight Witch, but it doesn't matter. I'm going to still finish it around tomorrow. So I will update you tomorrow with my reading. So today is February the 2nd, and it's probably like around 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Um, I don't have my phone with me. I forgot my phone. Um, but it's raining, so if you hear any noises, that's because it's raining. Um, I wanted to make some progress last night with Sight Witch. Unfortunately, I fell asleep. Um, yep, I drank a pill for my back because I've been having some back problems. And I just dozed off. I stopped at page 128. Um, so I'm going to try and make progress today. We're going to see how much I do. Today has not been my day. Um... It just hasn't been my day. Um, I woke up early to do an MRI because I've been having, like I said, um, I don't know if you can hear me more than the rain, but it started pouring really loudly right now. So I hope that this isn't a waste of time when I'm editing. <laughs> but I woke up early to do an MRI because I've been, like I said, I've been having um, problems with my back. So the doctor wanted to make sure that um, I didn't have anything wrong with my disc or anything like that. So I went. Um, after I go, that I wait two hours. Um, the woman tells me that I need an authorization, which my plan covers in that hospital. And I was like, but I've, I've never had to get an authorization. Why do I have now? And she was like, no, you need it for this, 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 and this. And I'm like, well, that's new this year because I, for an x-ray, I didn't need them for an x-ray either, but apparently now I do. And the problem is that where I get that authorization, it was closed today, Saturday. So yeah, after I waited two hours, um, I couldn't do anything, so I decided to go to another one, which is CERT, um, to at least I can get my, um, my x-rays done. Um, I arrived there at 11.30, and they tell me that um, they can't attend me because they close at 12, and I'm like, I can't. 
like I can't like I wanted to be productive and do the things that I had to do and life just didn't want me to do that so yeah um I was also taking pictures and it started raining so I had to settle because I have to clean the outside and whatnot because I take pictures outside um, but it started raining so I had to put everything back inside I managed to take like nine photos but out of those nine photos six or seven of those go in one um, upload so yeah because they're an unboxing for my fake rape uh, so yeah and the other two are also um, repositions that I have to abide by so I already took those two but I need to take a few more pictures so well yeah that was my day today just like nothing went right I think the only thing that went right was lunch lunch was hella good oh my goodness it was so tasty I just I'm, I'm still salivating because of that it was just really good so what I'm gonna do right now is that I am going to stop and just start reading because I want to read a little bit more oops and I'm also going to plan out the final two three photos that I need to take because I already have them in my mind like how I want them and I also need to update a few things in my calendar because I started bullet journaling and this time I said to myself I'm going to stick to it because like every single calendar that I buy there's always something missing that I need to add and I was like you know what the only way that I'm gonna get the bullet journal or like the journal that I want or like not the journal like the calendar that I want is by me actually making it so that's what I did um, and I started in February I didn't start in January so I'm quite content with the way it turned out so far I'm using it I just hope I end up using it until the end of the year because I usually start and then halfway through the year I just stop but hopefully uh, this time I won't because like I have everything that I need here like my repositions um, my requirements um, photos that I need to upload and also like my daily routines and stuff like that so this will give me like incentive for me to actually like keep track of it so I'm really enjoying it right now and yeah I'm just gonna stop and start reading and hopefully throughout the night I'll tell you that I managed to finish Sightwish and that is my goal for today we'll see how that goes uh yeah snow you tired Mikey you're not eating your snack Mikey um they're just too precious that I had to show them because Oh man, que pacho mi amor. Que hache. Ah, mire, yo estoy velando amor que se coma la galleta porque si no se la come, yo me la voy a comer. Oh, well, that's just, I just wanted to give you an update of my dogs. Hey, so today is February the 4th. It is right now 8.44. This is the first update that I'm going to be giving of the day, but I finally managed to finish Sight Witch. And I gave this 4 out of 5 stars. I enjoyed it. There are some things that have me questioning a lot of things. So I have a lot more questions than I did before. But there are some things that I just... I don't know how is it that they're going to be explained. Or how was it that it came to be. Because even though it does set up a lot of things. Um, I just want to know how is it that they're going to be explained. I also want to know if they're going to be explained in Blood Witch. Because I can't wait another book. Like, I can't wait another book. I am so ready for this. But I really did enjoy a lot of things. I loved um, getting to know more about the world and also about... I don't know if this is the way you pronounce it, but this is the way that I'm pronouncing it. Eridus? Eridus Lament? Um, it's nice to know a lot more about that and the situations that went down. So I just want further development of these things that happen within the world and how is it that they're going to develop for the ultimate showdown or how is it that everything is going to be um, pieced together so those are things that I'm really really interested to see how is it that you know they actually do play out but there is um, a preview of Blood Witch and I read it oh my god I'm so ready for it it just has like something that I wanted to know what happened to a specific character there it, it, it gives you hints of that and I'm just like I feel so much for this person and it also gives you chapter one I'm ready I'm just ready I just oh, I, I'm loving it I can't I can't I didn't want to stop I wanted to continue and I'm just I'm fat can you tell I'm fangirling already for one chapter only I'm just so ready for a blood witch you know comes out next week and I'm just I'm excited 
I'm completely excited. Oh, I also wanted to give a little bit of an update on the Fake Crate box for the month of March. It is currently sold out. Um, but just in case, I will be linking everything down below so, you know, you can check out to see if by the time I upload this, they have a little bit more um, boxes remaining. But it's the first time that they actually like sell out this quickly. So I'm, I'm completely happy that they actually did sell out. But they still do have um, boxes for Blood Witch. So if you want to get those, you can get those. So I'm going to end this video here. Um, even though I only tackled one book in this um, reading vlog. It was one that I really wanted to get over with because I was procrastinating like way too much with it. And I just, I really did enjoy it. I want to know how things are going to develop. But as of right now, I'm dying to have Blood Witch in my hands. I'm just, I'm just ready, you know. I've seen people that already have Blood Witch um, because obviously um, these publishing companies send them to, sends them to people that have a lot of followers. And I'm here like... I want to be one of those just because I want Blood Witch, man, honestly. But um, I'm still trying to decide. I still don't know what audiobook I'm going to hear. But I do want to know that I want to pick up a book before I even get Blood, Blood Witch because I'm going to get it physically on that day. But I really am interested in reading If You Knew Her by Emily Elgar. This is one that I've had for quite a while. And I would like to like get, o get it over with because I know it's a thriller and I've been into thrillers as of late. So I hope that this one doesn't disappoint and also I'm trying to decide if I want to start this one or if I want to start this one. So I don't know. I'm trying to decide but you're going to know in my next vlog which one is it that I actually do read. So I want to say thank you for watching. I hope that you have a beautiful day and or night and or week and I will see you in my next reading vlog. Peace out.